Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and this video is about the realities of small off-grid solar power systems. Specifically, we've had four solid days of rain out at the retreat location and the system hasn't been able to recover from my usage over the weekend when I went out to the retreat location last weekend. We're looking at the TSMPP T60 charge controller over the internet live out at West Virginia from the homestead here in Virginia and we're looking at the data log. I'm going to scroll down so you can see all the data here. And last Friday was day negative four, and that was a good day. That's the day I got to the retreat location. We had 120 minutes of absorption charge, and that transitioned to 368 minutes of float charge. The low temperature for Friday was 11 degrees Celsius. The low battery voltage was 12.23 volts, and the high battery voltage for the day was 15.1 volts. Now this is a little higher than what's called for in the charge controller, 14.8, but that's based on 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The Morningstar charge controller has a remote temperature sensor that runs from the charge controller inside out to the battery box, which is under my deck. So when the batteries get colder, they get less efficient, and the charge controller compensates by increasing a little bit the voltages during the charge cycle. So that's why we see the 1510. I arrived at the retreat location Friday afternoon and started using the system in tandem with my commercial power. Not completely, but in tandem. And through the course of the evening, I managed to run the batteries down 50% from the 1510 to the 50% state of charge that you see here on Saturday morning, or 12.1 volts for my 12-volt battery bank comprised of Trojan T105RE batteries. All day Saturday it rained, so we never got a good charge or any sunlight. So we had no absorption, we had no float, it was a little bit warmer, 13 degrees overnight, Friday into Saturday. And with the ambient light coming through the clouds, we were able to pick up some voltage to 12.6, but this is still a very low state of charge. I didn't put a lot of demand on the system Saturday night. Rolling into Sunday, again, it rained all day Sunday, so we had no absorption charge, no float. It got colder overnight, we got down to 8 degrees Celsius. The system got as low as 12.27 volts and only increased through the course of the day to 12.7, so it's still a very low state of charge. Sunday into Monday, again, still raining, no absorption, no float, low voltage 12.3, high voltage 12.7, still a very low state of charge. Monday night into today, Tuesday, again, no absorption, no float, low of 12.3, high of 12.8, so it's increasing a little bit because I'm not using anything. They're calling for sun on Thursday and Friday, so I should be able to recover from this. But the lesson I've learned here is I need to have a backup plan to charge my batteries to maintain a good, healthy charge because the temperatures are getting colder. The only way to keep batteries from freezing and getting damaged is to make sure that the batteries have a good charge when the temperature dips below zero. So if I had constant rain between now and the weekend when they're calling for freezing temperatures and no sun, my batteries could be damaged. So I'm going to add a battery charger to my plan that I can run off a generator or commercial power so when I have reduced sunlight in the winter or because of weather so I can increase the state of charge here to something healthy each day. As you can see down here when there's good sunlight and you're getting a good charge your batteries are getting a healthy boost during each day and maintaining a healthy state of charge. So in the evening your batteries are at 15.1 volts. That's a really good charge so when the temperature dips, you don't have to worry about the batteries freezing because the batteries are fully charged when you go from the evening into the early morning hours. So this was just a quick video to show you some lessons learned. This is my first year of having an off-grid solar power system. It helps that I can remotely monitor this with the TSMPP T60 charge controller. It has the Ethernet card built in because I'm not on site. And I try to check this each day when I get home from work to make sure everything's okay. But I can see a pattern here when I have heavy rain, the batteries never really recover. If this was prolonged, these numbers could really start to drop. And as these temperatures drop here, I could have a problem in the future with a low state of charge and freezing temperatures damaging my batteries and my investment that I have in the system. So as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a brief video on the realities of small off-grid solar power systems and the importance of having an alternative means to charge your batteries to maintain a healthy state of charge during low periods of sunlight. Thank you for watching, guys.